Before you call them friend, gotta prove them first Cause they're really loyal to you when you're at your worst We need to hit her all like the wire You're looking for some truth, I'll supply If you want it too soft, this ain't deal You gon' choose a law of a sin This just some uncut gems This just some uncut gems We was diamonds in the dirt just grinding in the turf, our mama go berserk, trying to keep from riding in the hearse. Now we lines in the work, sons of Zion, we the church. Different color fringes is looking vibrant on my shirt, and time lying in the dirt. I pray to be a fire hydrant with this word, like a geyser on the curb. Yeah, hey, brothers and sisters, man, y'all believe in God? Y'all believe in God? How do you serve God? How do you serve God? Damn. But how do you do that, though? <laughs> then I'll say, every day he's going to say it. Bro, prophets. Pro give me, give me first John. Give me first John 5, verse 3. Like, it's, it's, bro, you just, you, you, it's like you try. It's like, it's almost like a losing battle. You try and just, the niggas just, niggas. I, I promise you, bro. I promise you right now. I can pull any, any Edomite, per, any uh, Edomite will come up here and reason with me. Oh, sister, know. sister, sister, you believe in God? How do you serve God? Uh, I tithe. I do okay. for others. Uh, I haven't been to church physically in two years. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. But how do we do that according to the Bible, though? Believe me. Good, huh? yeah. <laughs> she, she said a lot. Of man, come on, man. Come on, man. Like this, this, <laughs> like this is what I'm be saying, bro. I should have went first. This is madness, bro. This is madness, man. How she tired? She just send him up there. Just send him up there. First John five verse three. I feel like it. For this is the love of God that we keep His commandments. This is the love of God that we keep His commandments. This is how you serve God. The Lord said, "Do something," and you do it, verbatim. If you said, "Don't eat pork," stop going to your goddamn grandma's house who lost a damn leg due to diabetes to eating too much goddamn pork. Stop eating pork. That's right. Stop eating shrimp. Stop doing. Stop eating unlawful things, bro. Do what God say do. How hard is it to do that? You see how when I when I ask a question, I can supply and furnish you an answer according to the Bible. Y'all want to call yourselves Christians? Why can't y'all do that? Like, you know why 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 can't y'all do the, the basic thing? Is I believe in this. Here's what. Give me give me uh, First Peter three fifteen. This <laughs> like. This is what I believe in, and here's why I believe in it. The Edomites can do that, for the most part. For the, most the, the, the ones that ones actually uh, actually read, like that one dude we dealt with earlier, really last week rather. Oh Lord in Christ, give me this. This is First Peter chapter one and verse. I mean chapter 15. three and verse fifteen. Yeah. Three, but 15. sanctify the Lord God in your hearts. Sanctify the Lord God in your hearts, right? You want to call yourself a Christian, so like, you should have the Holy Spirit, right? You should have the Lord sanctified in your hearts, right? Go ahead. Right. And be ready always. To do what? And be ready always. Be ready always to do what? To give an answer to every man that asketh you a reason of the hope that is in you with meekness and fear. Now that Greek word for hope is synonymous with faith. Give an answer while you believe what you believe in. Why don't we see that with Christians? Why don't we see that with any? Why don't we see that with, with people who say they believe in God, bro? Why does it? Why does it have to be that we have to yell at, at, at crackers, right? Why do we? Why does it have to be you have to yell at crackers what? for Jake to stop and listen, bro? They let him I, I got. I got to be. I got to be just a straight asshole to the heathen for y'all to watch. I got to put. I got to tap dance a show, bro. We get on. We get on. We get on these crackers, right? That's not, now let me just start talking about. It. We get on these crackers who look at us and expect <laughs> us to rap and stuff like that. But here, I got to put on a show for you niggas now. That's right. I got to put on a show for you niggas now, just for y'all to stop. And then after I've done shucking and jiving for you, right, then you want to leave. You don't want to hear no don't scriptures. Hear word, yeah. You don't hear no word, man. What, what do you got to say up there, man? <laughs> bro, goddamn crackers, bro. Like, like I, I'm telling you, man, they went, they, you, 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 you got to say it walking away. You're not going to say it standing right there. You got to say it walking away. He said, come on, come on, man, don't say it. Because she know, she know, she know he be saying the N-word when they be at the house. Don't, don't say it. Don't say it. <laughs> she said it too? Oh, probably. Probably. She just know. 
She just trying to save him that eventual ass whooping that right. they get, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I mean, why I gotta do that, bro? I hate. I want to just teach. I want. I want Jake to come here. I want to. If we got. If we got to debate, at least let us debate. Niggas gotta just keep on walking and do this. Do this. <laughs> what, what is this? Believe me. Believe me. <laughs> I'm good, man. Oh, I already went to church on Sunday. I learned what? What did you learn from church? You know, what, what, what did you what, what what out of the Bible did you learn from church that is that is, is of any importance? What are the church system system? Hey, hey sis, see that you see what I mean, bro? Like, god damn! Bring give me, bring Nehemiah back out. Bring Nehemiah back out, bro. Like this is ridiculous. Like what 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 do like, I don't I don't want to I don't want to be in that spirit, bro. Give me Nehemiah. Like, this is why I be trying to just go into a list sometimes, because y'all niggas is, is uncircumcised in the mind and the ears. Go ahead. This is the book of Nehemiah, chapter 9, verse 26. Nevertheless, they were disobedient and rebelled against thee and cast thy law behind their backs. Yeah, they did what? Cast thy law behind their backs. They cast the law behind their backs, man. Israel always cast these scriptures behind their backs, and they always will, right? I could just ask any, bro, watch, let me, let me, let me, let's test this out. Let's test this out. Hey, man, hey, you believe in God? <laughs> this, who did God, who did Christ die for? <laughs> All of us, right? Is that what the Bible says? Damn stone cold. Oh, you don't know, do you? See, at least, at least I can get a convert. At least I can get a mini convert. Well, what is it? Yeah. He, he's, he's died for everybody. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. Hey, oh, okay. hey, it's sister, sister. Do you believe in God? Hey man, you wasting flyers, man. Yeah, bro, we, you gotta stop wasting <laughs> flyers, bro. Like, she ain't listen. She ain't. <laughs> that bitch gonna be in the club. Bro. Yeah, <laughs> I'll be right around the corner, man. Look at this. Look at this night, man. Look at this, man. This guy, bro. <laughs> bro, I, I'm, and this, this is going to some doctrine, bro. Give me, give me, give me uh, Isaiah 50. <laughs> give me Isaiah 53. <laughs> yeah, man. Give me Isaiah 53. Give me, uh, give me Matthew chapter 15, verse 24, right? Because let's, let's do this, right? Since, since, since Jake can't hear the scriptures, right? Since just trying to just trying to uh, will y'all in with the bait where the Lord gave us ain't working for y'all. Let's just teach the Bible, bro. Let's just teach some doctrine. Give me Isaiah 53. Where it talks about uh, where you, where's 53? Right. I don't want that part. You and this king. What you want? You know the key word. Oh, let me, I gotta see it. He was a priest. He's straight from my people. people. Was he cut off? Oh, was he cut off? Yeah, I think it's eight. Is it eight? All right, eight. Yeah. 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 This is the book of Isaiah chapter 53 verse eight. Yeah. He was taken from prison. He was what? taken from prison. Now this is talking about the suffering servant in Isaiah 53. I want to bring this out on a Christian so I want to bring on that last Christian from last week, right? It says he was stricken for our iniquities, right? Keep going. Um, he was taken um, and from judgment. And who shall declare his generation? Yeah. For he was cut off the land of the living yeah. for the transgression of my people. He was cut off the land of the living for the transgression of my people. Who, <coughs> who's Isaiah's people? The Israelites. What is that 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 Greek uh, Hebrew word right there for my people? It literally means nation. So he was stricken and cut off for the nation of Israel. That's what Isaiah 53 is talking about. Y'all want to? Can you see Christians about? Show me a scripture that says that says uh, uh, Christ died for only Israelites in the Old Testament. There's one right there, and that's the worst place to ask somebody because I mean the Old Testament. Is, give me Isaiah 54 verse three. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 54, verse 3. Yeah. For thou shalt break forth from the right hand and on the left. Yeah. And thy seed shall inherit the Gentiles. Shall what? Inherit the Gentiles. We shall inherit the Gentiles. So where is y'all salvation? Because salvation, according to y'all, I mean, you're not really wrong when you say this, comes through Christ and you get the rule, you be a, a part ruler in the kingdom. How are y'all going to rule in the kingdom if y'all are possession? That don't make no sense. No, no sense whatsoever, bro. We, it, <coughs> I got into, let's just go into some doctrine. Bro, you just read the Bible and it just dispels Christianity. Just open it up and read it. Like, it's, it's out of there, bro. It don't make right. no sense. Give right. me this. It's the book of Matthew, chapter 15 and verse 24. But he answered and said, I am not sent, 
but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. So Christ himself said, I'm not sent except for the lost sheep of the house of Israel. That's his own words. So where then, so what, as, as a Christian, what do we, I mean, what do you do with that? What do you do with him being cut off for his people? What do you do with him saying, I only come for the Israelites, man? What do we do with that, man? You believe in God? <laughs> hey, man. I, man, I stall him. I don't even feel like dealing with them today, bro. <laughs> 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 man, he's heathen is something oh, else, bro. Hold on. You got the star. Anybody got a star on their shirt? I got this. What's up? What's up? She dropping rates. There's the white girl. He the bang on it, bro. Because so-called GD, yeah. they think that's the star day. You know, yeah. Star. yeah, yeah. So she dropped rates on us, basically. Yeah, she dropped the rates. <laughs> Bro, these heathen is something else, man. Hey, man, you got a question about signs? Well, you keep on looking at them, man. You can't hear? Are oh, you just looking? Oh, I can't tell which one you're looking at, man. <laughs> I can tell you're looking at all of them. <laughs> you believe in God? Who did Christ die for? You don't know? Uh, you don't want to comment on the video? Is it is it because you don't know? Oh, it's 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 because it's it's you believe in some bullshit, huh? That's what it is. Oh yeah, I get it. I get. I remember when I was a Christian, I couldn't prove my own point. I couldn't elaborate on what I believed in, right? You knew a little something. Like, I, I knew a little bit. I knew a little something. <laughs> you ain't never had to ask questions. I ain't never had to. You ain't never had people ask you questions. Like yeah, not 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 very many. Look, look at Esau, bro. What they doing? Look at Esau, bro. <laughs> yeah, look at Esau, bro. Esau is a vagabond on this Man, earth, bro. They, went like, they, they don't care about their life, and neither should we. Come on. Uh, while, while we're at this, like, like I said before, let's, let's go into something else, bro. What does what does pray for Ukraine look like? I had a whole lesson about what, what is that, man? What's up with them pants, man? Bug out. What, what, why, why are you wearing them, bro? <laughs> you, it's a what? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> he's a body boy. Body boy. boy. He's a body boy. Look at this homosexual. Man. Like, this is crazy, bro. Like, they, like, they want everybody to accept them, but they assholes. Go ahead. Go ahead. Damn, Clay Aiken is a cheerleader now. <laughs> Hell out of here, man. Go ahead. <laughs> yes, yes, we are. Barely, barely, barely. Kill a fighter! Hey, that's not true. <laughs> you are. Boy, George! <laughs> hey, guess what, man? You go in that, that, go, that, go in that little cheer off thing. Just know the most high God's going to put you to death, bro. Right. You and your lover, man. And not only you and your lover, your mama. <laughs> your daddy, Snap your grandfather, up. all of them is going to captivity, bro. Come <laughs> so, so you take your, get the gas up there, man. I, like it's crazy how they be so damn like gay people yeah, be so fucking prideful, bro. Y'all yeah, want y'all want everybody to accept y'all, right. accept y'all's fucking bullshit. But but y'all want to come here and talk to us however we want, how, however y'all feel like it, bro. Right. Like this is why y'all be getting y'all ass beat. That's like <laughs> you, you shit, remember bro. you remember back hold on you, you remember you remember <laughs> that y'all remember like when we was growing up you had that that gay that gay family member he used to get his ass beat. Yeah. They need to bring that shit back out, bro. <laughs> They need, they need to be having like public flog. Like that's why I like like Vladimir Putin. He ain't dealing with that shit. He ain't dealing with that shit. Go to Jamaica with that. See what they're doing, bro. They got plug, public floggings, bro. Yeah, that's great. Hey, I'll praise the Lord get for that. When he a yeah, I, I, did you get that on camera? Yeah. <laughs> He's a, I'm, I'm a cheerleader. fucking cheerleader, man. He said, "You a fucking faggot, bro. That's what you is." Let's that's, that's, that's just be yeah, honest, bro. To clip that. I, I, I know. Uh, <laughs> I don't give a fuck. Huh? No, I, I just <laughs> said. It. I, I was just so blown away by he said it. I was like, shit. <laughs> But this is nuts, bro. This is nuts, bro. It, it would be dead when, it, when it's my turn, bro. Look at this shit, bro. What's up? Oh, okay, okay, okay. What's up? Hey, do y'all believe in God? How do we worship God according to the Bible? Huh? Through your speech and behavior. That's kind of vague. That's real vague. 
I mean, homosexuals have speech and behavior. I mean, no, he doesn't. No, he does Break it out. Let's, oh, yeah, let's, let's get it. Go ahead. Bring it out. For God hated for abomination. Yeah, he what? Hated for abomination. He hates abomination. So he hates them. Just like all those all those man cheerleaders over there, which is really homosexuals, right? Mm -hmm. All those male cheerleaders in there, the, the Lord hates them. Come. He hates all that. that, that we, now we snapping, bro. Now we snapping, bro. <laughs> all these damn homos, all these damn male cheerleaders in there, right? All homosexual. And the Lord going to kill them, bro. Right. Let's do that. Give me Leviticus 20. Let's get Leviticus 20. Yeah, yes, your son. How about that? Yes, your son. Your your son. Your son. Who you wanted to say? Oh, he just expressed himself. He about to express. He's, his head's about to express himself down the street, bro. When your house I come back. Go ahead. This is the book of um, Leviticus, chapter twenty, verse thirteen. Yeah. If a man also lie with mankind. If he lie with what? Mankind. A man that lies with mankind, a homosexual or a pillow biter, all of them, right? <laughs> Like flaming homosexuals, right? Go ahead. Mm. Um, lay with mankind as he lieth with a woman. Yeah. Both of them have committed an abomination. Yeah. Go they ahead. shall surely be put to death. And so we surely what? Put to death. No, God loved all the male cheerleaders. What? Put to death. And so be put to death, bro. So all of them be put to death, man. And hey, y'all believe in God? How you feel about homosexuals? <laughs> of course, of course. Read that last part again. Shall be put to death. The homosexual shall be put to death, man. And of course, the white man. Of course, the white man will say, "Oh, why not be homosexual?" Because they're all homosexuals. That's right. <laughs> let's just be honest, bro. Let's just let's just be honest. Let's look at Greek. Let's I mean, let's look at Greece. Let's, <laughs> oh Lord. Let's look at Greece. Let's look at Rome. Why are all your holidays involving a man getting done in the ass by another man? Let's talk about that, right? Let's talk about that. Let's talk about why all those same holidays are instituted here in America. Let's talk about that. Of course, y'all say it's okay to be homosexual. Of course, you justify. Give me, give me Sarek. Hey man, what, hey, what you got going, man? What you got going? You a cheerleader? Come on, man. Come on, man. How, how, how old are you? You, you 33 and you a cheerleader, man? Yeah, yeah, go ahead, man. I want to, I want to hear this testimony. I'm very curious. Go ahead, man. I was in the sixth grade, and coaches asked me if I wanted to go to Disney World and touch girls' butts. So I was like, yeah, for sure, put me in. So, but I was already in the middle of the streets doing right off back handspring and tucks. So, actually, a black man from West Palm Beach, Florida, um, this actually got me out the streets. You know, it's a testimony to be able to stand here and say this to you guys right now. Um, I have been not, not raised in the best environments, but this sport okay. has brought me and kept me out of trouble. Um, had some things that happened to me, but my cheer coaches is the ones that got me out of trouble and kept me safe. God bless. So it's just even okay. giving me chills right now, even talking about it and being able to stand here. This is this is where it full circles, you know. Now check so this out. To be able to just bring my, my my testimony to you guys. Check this out, right? Let me give you a testimony, right? Do you have you do you know anything about the Bible? I know a little bit about it. I was raised into church, but I wasn't heavily into it as, as well, I, mean, I should have been. The church ain't really heavily into the Bible, but I want to make this point, right? In the Bible, there's a, there's a chosen people of God. They're called the Israelites. Have you heard of that? You see the sign right here? Right? This right here is a representation of all those people. We know through archaeology, history, and Bible prophecy that we are those people, bro. You say you didn't grow up in the, in the best environments. You know why that is? I mean, in a way, in a way, but that's in a, in a vague way. But the reason why you are in that position and why we're all in this position is because we forsook our God. That's why. Give me, give me Deuteronomy 28, verse 15. Right. Well, let, me, let me get this one thing. Let me get two. Let me get two. Give me that. Give me 1 John 5, verse 3. Let's keep it simple. Right. The whole reason we are in this messed up position, us as a whole nation of people, and I mean nation, I mean black people, black, Hispanic, and Native Americans. The reason why we're in this position is because we forsook our God and stopped keeping his laws. Read that. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, yeah. to observe and do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So since we didn't listen to the Lord and didn't keep his law, statutes, and commandments, then we then we start getting shot. Then we start hating each other. Then we go we went on slave ships to get brought here. All those things, the whole black experience is a is a testament to us not keeping this law. 
None of that stuff would have happened to us if we'd have just kept this law. And the way to reverse it, the way to where you don't know your kids don't got to grow up in this, or none of our kids have to grow up in this if we come back to the Lord. That's what, we're, that's, what we're out trying, that's what we're out here trying to tell our people to do. We got to come back to the Lord and love Him. This is how you do it. Read this. It's the book of 1 John, chapter 5 and verse 3. For this is the love of God. This is how we show that we love God. Go ahead. That we keep His commandments. Yeah. And His commandments are not grievous. This is how we show we love God by listening to Him. As a people, well, let's try listening to God, listening to His word. The church ain't telling you that. They're telling you some, they're giving you some dances, they're doing that, you're paying them money, and at the end of the day, you really got robbed. We are here doing this for free. We're trying to tell you how to love the Father. Did you know how to love God according to the Bible before you had this conversation? Yes. Okay. You, you've heard that, you've heard that verse before about keeping the commandments. My, my grandfather was a deacon in church. He, oh, okay, let's just say, let's just say, let's just say you did, right? We have to start walking after that. Because give me, let me get one more. Romans 2 verse 13. Okay, I get, I got you. Give me Romans two verse thirteen, because you heard that, right? You heard that. Go ahead, get this. For not the hearers, Romans. This is the book of Romans, chapter two, verse thirteen. For the hearers of the law are not just before God. So you're not just just because you heard that, but what? But the doers of the law shall be justified. You got to start walking after it, bro. You got to start keeping these laws. You got a beard on your face. That's a commandment of of, of, of the Lord. You already got one right there. Stop eating pork. Do Stop doing other things, bro. Just, just start working on it. Be a doer of the word, not just a, a person who listens. Hey, and I want to tell you something. You say this save you from the street. This is the most, this is an important one right here. Look, Isaiah 51 and um, 20. Thy sons have fainted. They lie in the head of all the streets as a wild bull in the net. If you go anywhere throughout America, any country, so-called blacks and Latinos there, we in the streets like a wild bull in the net, not knowing what we're going to do, not what's going to happen tomorrow, doing all type of wickedness. So through the spirit of the Lord, even though he put the cheerleading on you for you to do that, but now you got to come back to the true thing that's really going to give you the wisdom and the, the knowledge of the Lord. You know what I'm saying? To really get you into your nobility and knowing who you really are. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's, that's going to be the full circle once you get this foundation on top of everything else the Lord delivered you from. You know mm -hmm. what I'm Man, this is meant to happen. Bet. It's a full yeah. right, Hey, man. can we give you a flyer real quick? Can we give you a flyer? Get, you, get that flyer. You your bag we right? got a YouTube yeah. channel, man. <laughs> Check it out. Check the videos out. Learn about who you are, man. And learn how you were. Everybody take it easy. All right, bro. You too, man. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, man. What time is it? Time to wrap up, nigga. <laughs> it's about 530, yeah. man. Yeah. With that, I want to say call all your hot by stream, y'all are shy, and say Shalom, man. Shalom.